All right, so how's everybody doing? This is Hank with another short discussion for Two Birds and a Third. And in this short discussion, I'm going to be discussing the Philadelphia Eagles' second overall pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, Sidney Jones. Now, originally, I wanted the Eagles to draft Sidney Jones because the Eagles had a, a huge hole at the cornerback position, releasing or not re-signing both of their starting corners from the 2016 NFL season. I really liked all of Sidney Jones' ability. He's just I think he was the best cornerback in the draft at that point, and I would have loved for the Eagles to, to pick him at number 14. But then he tore his Achilles at his pro day, and I was more considering a Dalvin Cook or a Corey Davis because wide receiver and running back have always been needs for the Eagles, I think for the last two seasons for the most part. But the Eagles, obviously, they drafted for kind of a need but and also not best player available. A team like the Green Bay Packers, they'll always go with best player available for the most part. I mean, we all remember the, the Aaron Rodgers pick of 2005. But, you know, the Eagles really did draft guys that they liked and kind of guys that they needed. They didn't really do the best player available except for their first overall pick, Derek Barnett, because all the guys they wanted were gone and he was a very talented player and he fell right to them. So that was just a stroke of stroke of luck. But the main issue that's been on everyone's mind is when is Sidney Jones, cornerback from the University of Washington, going to play? Now, Sidney Jones claims that he will be ready in four months, which is the beginning of the season, which is like September, I believe. It's May, so he's, he claims that he'll be ready in four months. He got injured about a month and a half ago, maybe. And a lot of other experts like Seth Joyner who is a former Eagle former Eagle linebacker great claims that he won't even be ready for the season the Eagles won't play him now my personal opinion is that I think he will play but I I think that it's important that we rest him during September October and November and I think he could see action in December now, I don't want him to sit out the whole season because it's an Achilles injury. There was no rupture. It was just a uh, it was just a, it was just a tear. You know, that's something that is pretty easily fixable and hopefully that he doesn't get into trouble like Jason Peters did when he fell out of his wheelchair and re-injured his Achilles before the 2012 NFL season to which we had to start uh, bottom feeders like Demetrius Bell. But my biggest thing is keeping him out until he is physically ready. I don't want to rush him back on the field. And him making videos of, of him walking in his boot, that real in him walking around, it's 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 like it's like hearing that RG3 is doing jumping jacks before a preseason game the year after he had leg reconstructive surgery. I don't want to bring him back too early, but the end of the season, the end of the season is in like seven months. He should be ready. He, he, he should be ready. I think his absence, putting him on the PUP list will allow us to strengthen another position or strengthen a few possible players uh, that we, that we could possibly use later on in the season. But I, I see him coming back, you know, you know, it's this is not like uh, the Cowboys, I believe, with Jalen Smith. I believe his name was Jalen Smith. They drafted in the second round a linebacker last year, a beast of a linebacker in college who got injured in his bowl game. I think, I mean, there's no nerve damage, so he should be ready for some point in the season. I I just want to rest him. I, I see Sidney Jones being a player that can help us out in the future of our team. So I would rather be as cautious as possible with the future of our team. So this is Hank with Two Birds and a Third Short Discussion. We are going to be live tonight for a Two Birds and a Third football podcast at 6 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Join us, and I will be back within the week with more content.